Well, that's a nice sound, isn't it? Happy uh, Thirsty Thursday. Oh, that ought to help. That ought to help a lot. Old Chevy 4x4, and of course, Bert running around, coming to you on this Thursday, August, uh, what, like the 4th, I believe. And we got smoke pouring out of the char grower. Let's see what we got going on here. I'll give you all three guesses as to what those burgers are. Crazy 45 kid, if you happen to watch this video, I bet you only need one guess. You got it. Let's take a walk. I got a quick update for you. Well, as usual, I'm just getting home, just getting everything going, and it's getting dark. Um, done a little bit of work on the Simplicity Wonder Boy. A little bit, and I'm going to show you that here real quick. Also got this... Let me flip this switch. Got this big tree branch. Doesn't look like much on the night vision, I know, but it's about a eight, eight or nine inch diameter branch. Good size, long. Um, came down out of the tree and hit my beam that I used to have coming out the side of my shop. It's a beam that I used to put the engine in the truck and do all that kind of stuff. It hit the beam and it pushed it off to the side and uh, the damage was pretty good so I ended up ripping the whole beam down. Thank you Bert. Everyone needed to see that. Excellent. Candid moments with Bert. What are you gonna do? At any rate, on to the, uh, the quick update. Well, here is the deck, and it looks pretty much exactly like it did the last time you all seen it. It's been a couple of weeks. I know I haven't been updating at all. I apologize for that, but I haven't been out here doing anything. I've been working a lot of hours and just haven't been doing anything. What I have done is I've gotten, other than the actual real, the, the main body of the deck itself, I've gotten everything else cleaned and uh, ready for some primer. What well, holds the mule drive, it's the frame for the deck itself. I've also welded new threads on where I broke the old ones off, so that's good to go. I've got the rest of the sheet metal um, sanded down. Nothing primed yet because I ran out of primer. So that part's done. Uh, I still need to hit the rest of the reel, obviously, and prime and paint the other parts. I did get the sheet metal painted. This part again. No how it shows up, but I did get the sheet metal painted. If you can see the water drops on it. I painted it yesterday and we had a pop-up thunderstorm. Not even two hours after I painted it. So I don't know how well this paint's gonna stick or hold, but we'll see. As of right now, I mean it seems pretty seems hard. You can't can't print it with your nail or anything, so we'll see what happens. If it peels off, I guess it peels off, right? What are you gonna do? I have not done anything with the uh, the actual tractor itself. Anything at all. As a matter of fact, it's still sitting outside. Um well, that's about it, guys. Just a quick update on what I've been doing to the tractor and showing you some burgers. And one last thing, and I'll be out of your hair. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my 200th, yeah, 200th subscriber, Mr. SB Chevy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to have a quick drink here for you, buddy. I do appreciate you and uh, all my other subscribers, of course. But really, 200? I never thunk it. Never to thunk it, as they say. Alrighty guys, that's what I got for you. Um, thank you. Appreciate you watching. I'll stay safe.